we're doing something different today or I'm doing something different today. I'm gonna have a little photo session in downtown Helsinki and, and see what I can find to photograph. If there is anything, I don't know, it's pretty cold weather today and I don't know how long I'm gonna <laughs> hold on here. But let's go, come along. Hi there, I'm Peter Voisgaard, a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we continue, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell so you get notified when there is a new video on online. My channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer and of course a bottle of push gear and this time a photo session with 25mm f1.2 lens around downtown Helsinki. When you go out for a photo walk like I'm doing now, I think the main thing is to have a plan for what you're gonna do. Check out from the map where you might be going and then have kind of a theme. And my theme is to find something that are called traces of people. If I can find anything, you know, like this footstep here, which actually can make a pretty nice image. go out and walk and get your camera and this time what I have is the E1 Mark III and the 25mm f1.2 lens. The weather real chilly and kind of kind of cold and, and unfortunately I don't well actually I do have a couple of masks in my pocket so I could go indoors somewhere if I wanted to but let's see if I can find something here. The camera can help me because it's always when you start shooting it's uh, kind of uh, hard to find the subject first you need to at least for me it takes takes a you know a few minutes a few uh, sometimes even hours to to uh, get going and some like a warm-up it's like a sports people who do need to get warmed up when they before they start to do the real thing and that's let's go over there and see if there are some some bicycles well here's one it's always interesting to to see why this bike was left here it looks pretty nice like it's abandoned let's see if we can get something for that yeah I don't know somebody's talking to me about me taking an image of a bike. That's what always happens when you photograph. Somebody's really interested in you, but you know, just ignore this time. And that's always, you know, when you're now, okay, this is Helsinki, I, I know these places, but that's one thing when you are in a foreign place and you don't really know the place and you know, might not know the people, always be careful when doing street photography because at least I am. When I see something, I'm really concentrated on that particular thing, and I might not see if someone is uh, approaching me or or anything like that. So that's that's interesting. And there's another interesting-looking bike with some weird-looking front wheel. the sun came out let's see if we can find some interesting uh, shadows because the sun is very low and you can see the very long shadows and let's see if we can make something out of that there's not interesting shapes here that I could look and as you can see a really empty city well most people are 
working from home and those who aren't are, are in their offices and in, in constructions like they, they have a renovation in the contemporary or well, the Museum of Contemporary Art yeah, it's gonna well, go all the way till March 2020 so well I think it's a good time to make that because March 2020 I hope we will have everything open and all set for going to museums yeah the, the, uh, the shadows are really nice but there's not really in any interesting shapes here but let's see if we can find something else that could be called traces of people works nothing spectacular images but it's it's not about having a tons and tons of images it's, it's also about looking around and and sucking in the sun because that's not, not that's not that common well may March it, it's more common than in February and January but so it's not always about getting great images it's also about the the act of taking those or making those images pretty good light there in the railway station there the light direction of the light is totally great right now and let's see what we can we can do here let's make a more depth of field to this image and let's see if we could get like this and let's wait for someone to come but let's continue forward and see what we can find look at this square which used to be a bus station that's an old bus station right there in the front it has a pub now but from today all the restaurant has to be closed because of the virus situation has gone bad here in Finland and that's why all the restaurants and pubs are closed at least for three weeks now but this is a as i said used to be a bus station it'd be full of buses this area but now there is a um, art gallery beneath those things are windows for that uh, for the art gallery let's see what we can make out of these stop down a bit and see what it looks like i might need to crop this image a bit because of the focal length that i have but i don't mind cropping my images it's totally fine to crop if you don't have the particular lens and, and since most of my images are kind of like exhibited online it doesn't really matter one of my favorite doors in Helsinki I think that's pretty cool let's see if we can get an image of that and see some there are any reflections from the window let's see and as you probably realize that I don't really have a uh, 
faces of people that much. But that's what usually happens, is that when you start just photographing, then all of a sudden you, you realize you're making some other, other photographs. Let's see how this could work. I think this one is interesting to have some reflection. I think we're done for today and thanks for watching and bye for now.